Hey Branson, so I see we made some progress on the midterm. Let's see, the old, old version was um, giving us a null pointer exception here in the uh, get canvas method because we were um, you were checking to see if the canvas singleton was null, but then whether it was null or not, nothing happened if it was null. There's not there's no code in between these um, braces. And then whether it was null or not, you still tried to call set visible on it. And that gave us the, uh, the null pointer exception. So that's how you know when these things are, are broken. If you run them and they give you an exception, they don't do, they don't work basically. Then, then they're not, we know we're not done. So let's take a look at what we have in the latest version. So um, here, let's take a look actually. Oh, no, it wasn't a canvas, wasn't it? So here, we, uh, in our get canvas, we have uh, a check and inside our test to see if it's null, we're creating a new canvas. Okay, so that's a step in the right direction. Um, let's try it. So when we go now, and say draw, we're still getting an error. So we're still getting a null pointer exception. This time it's saying that the canvas um, is null. So we have this um, canvas field up here. It's a canvas pane object. In our regular, in our, in our original constructor, it gets set to a value right here. We, we, so we know it's not null if we use this constructor. But with the constructor with no arguments, it looks like we're having trouble. So um, let me just show you. So what happens in the solution version, uh, if we go to Canvas and, oh wait, this is the old one. Hold on a second. If we go to, um, Exams, midterm, that one. Okay, so if we call our Canvas constructor here and say OK and inspect it, you see that Canvas um, field is filled. It has a Canvas pane object in it. Okay, but um, when we look at the one you have right now, we say new canvas and inspect, everything's null. There's no uh, field in here. So what we need is to actually define a constructor that has no um, uh, input parameters. So actually I think that was kind of a cool trick how you got it to appear here. I'm not even sure how you did that. I don't know how I would do it except to actually write a constructor. Um, so the way you write a constructor, if you don't remember how to do that, there's a discussion of it in um, the text uh, around page 21 when they're talking about the ticket machine and they give you an example. Um, so they talk about this This right here is the constructor for the ticket machine. So the constructor basically has um, no uh, um, what do you call no uh, return value but it has a um, Otherwise, it looks like a method. So let me just take another look here. Let me see. Oh, this is interesting. Why does this say private void canvas, I wonder? Let's see. If I say public canvas. Maybe that's, yeah, see, I don't see it. Hmm. All right. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one was intentionally made. Well, this was, 
I don't, I don't get the void here. Oh, that's why I get it now. So that's that's the trick. So you stuck in a void in there to make this not be a uh, constructor anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the actual the way you want to do this, you the way you want to make a constructor with no inputs is to actually write one. So just like so the way you write a constructor, like I said, is you say public, and then the name of the class. Canvas and like I said, there's a discussion of this around page 21, uh, you know, 2021 20, around there in the text that explains in detail how these things work. So now the trick is that you want to fill in these um, uh, fields because now even though I've made a, a public canvas, if I don't do anything, so now this will compile. But if I don't if I don't do anything, I'm still going to run into the same trouble because, um, well, let me just show you if I if I use that constructor that doesn't do anything, I'm still going to have all nulls here because I'm not setting them to anything. So you need to go in and um, you know add um, assignments to all of these things, and we want um, we also want to set the title, set the width, set the height. Since we don't have any any uh, input values for those to set the title, we want to automatically set the title to um, um, you know the the uh, the information that we want. Let me see what was that. Let me let me look back here. So I think what we needed here was um, yeah. So what we wanted was we want the title to be Java Honors Midterm, and you know set the width and the height and the color. But you're going to want to do that inside your uh, inside your canvas method. So when you have your new, where you have your new method here, you're going to want to set um, width and height and our title and width and height and all that. You're going to want to set set the title to be Java Honors Midterm because now. In, in in this version of the constructor, you don't get the, the title passed to you. So you want to, and what I'm asking for the midterm is that you set it at, by default. You just set it automatically to Java Honors Midterm. And the same thing with width. You don't have a width parameter here, so you just want to set the width to 300. Okay, and with color. You know, height the same thing, 300, and color we want to set to um, color white. Okay, so all those will be kind of like hard coded in in here in the constructor, and the rest of them um, should be the same as as this constructor. So that um, when we build our our uh, canvas object, that uh, it it looks the way we want it to look. So it should look it should look um, as if we called um, it should look you should be able to call it the way you have it written. Um, you should be able to say uh, canvas singles and get new can uh, equals new canvas, but then um, have all these things automatically uh, set in your in your canvas constructor okay so um, give that a shot if you're you know if you're fuzzy still on constructors like I said go back and and um, read up around uh, around page 2021 20, they have um, 
some discussion of, of uh, constructors and uh, where am I? oh how do I get over there so around page 2021 20, they have they have discussion of constructors um, so what chapter is that let's see 21 here it is so it's chapter two and they have so when they talk about examining class definition so around page 20 it starts and then they explain all about constructors and stuff in there okay so take a look at that um, take another look at exactly what I'm asking you in um, in the midterm here okay so we want a public constructor with no arguments it should initialize the fields of the canvas class with the same values they would get from the get canvas class okay so that's what I've been explaining all right so you want you want to write a um, you want to write a constructor that has this form and then inside here you want to put all the statements that you would need um, uh, so that you get the same result as if you called this okay so um, yeah like I said you know read up on on constructors um, if you have any questions on that and um, if you still don't get what I'm talking about then just go ahead and send me another email okay